most great cities around the world would say that they have a thriving art culture, and of course many do. And many are much older than Melbourne. We're a very young city, only 179 years old. But all through that time, we have been prepared to embrace art, and we do so today. Our budget at the City of Melbourne is nearly $14 million a year in order to support particularly young artists. But as well as those young artists in our city, you'll find very established art as well, whether that's the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra or the National Gallery of Victoria or the many arts institutions that have flourished since our founding. The city is essentially an organism and an artist's relationship to the city is a reciprocal one. So the city provides inspiration, provides essentially a canvas for an artist's work and then the artist gives cultural life to a city and therefore enables other people to experience the city as a living work of art. Art moves me. Art inspires me to be individual. A city without art, I think, would be a very sad and um, cold place. I have an audience, city audience that comes through on a daily basis, which is rare for an artist while working on a piece. That interaction with people has been probably one of the most interesting things with what I do, and it certainly changed what I do and how I do it. My role as an artist at the moment is to create a sensory experience that the everyday person can enter into and the role of the City of Melbourne is to facilitate that ambition. most of herself and she does it with the arts and the culture that, that we put on regularly all the time. This is part of the fabric of the city. It really creates a sense of a thriving city to have these things going on and these people with all this energy making creative projects happen. Melbourne has afforded me opportunities to step outside of dance and to mix that up with a whole lot of different art forms because there's a genuine interest in new ways of seeing what we are commonly used to. So it's a way of perceiving things that are familiar from a different angle. A city without art is a city without heart. Thank you.